Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the On the Border Mexican Grill and Cantina. These are the cafe style salsa. I have the queso. And these are uh, flavored tortilla chips, is how they're described. They were only $1.98 at Walmart. So even though they say $2, Walmart is giving them to you for two cents cheaper a bag. Yeah, 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 yay! Uh, no artificial flavors, no preservatives, gluten-free, zero grams of trans fat. There are eight servings in the container. One ounce, 28 grams, about seven chips is 150 calories. They are gluten-free, no MSG, no hydrogenated oils, no cholesterol. And their website is www.ontheborderchips.com. They are manufactured for Truco Enterprises in Dallas, Texas. I know that yours has tomato and lime and cilantro on it. And mine has tomatoes, cheese, and a jalapeno. These are huge. Some of their differences. They are big. That's about the size of a Dorito. Uh, uh, no, no, that's much bigger. There was a couple like this. That were the, the yes. Size. These. Like the solo. Oh, cool. Look. <laughs> yeah, that's, big. that's like two Doritos. Okay. A little salsa. Yeah, a couple of full over. By the way, you've inspired many people to only look for, they've, they've got in the habit of looking for full overs now and that. I have had people tell me, I'm really bad though, because I will open a bag of chips and like, it's my goal in life to eat all the fallovers first. And so that's not a good thing because I go through half a bag of chips. <laughs> um, I like these. They do have a little bit different flavor than a, just, a, just a plain corn chip, but not a lot of different flavors. Or... I think there's some spice there. There is a little spice. I was expecting like that full on tomato, onion, a little bit of pepper flavors. You don't really get that. No, you really taste the corn base, yeah, which I like. Yeah, the corn is really strong. I like the corn. I like the texture. Mm -hmm. it the texture is good and soft. It's thicker than a Dorito. A Dorito is very thin, very, very crisp. This is thicker than a Dorito. But not as hard. But not as hard. Yeah, this, honestly, this tastes more authentic Mexican food. Like, like, like they, they're making it right there in the restaurant. Like we used to have a Don Pablo's and they would make this stuff right there in front of you. This is like, it just tastes more authentic. It tastes more real. It does you know? have the same texture as those tortilla chips we used yes. to get. Yes, yeah, the like that will bring you chips and dip to your table and they're real. Um, and and uh, they, they've made them right there. And the, so these taste like those. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, there is some heat, but it's just a, it's a very mild heat. Yeah. It's very pleasant. I don't think if you, you, I think anybody could eat those. I do too. I yeah. do too. And those are delicious. Yeah. Okay. Even if you don't like spicy food. Um, these are 150 calories for probably the same thing. Yep. 28 right. grams, about seven chips. No. And the queso, so, so these should be cheesy. And they might have some spice too. We'll see. They're a lighter color. Yeah, they don't have the red. Ooh, and they have lots of... Uh, Ooh, they have lots <laughs> of uh, um, powder. powder on the outside. You get cheese right off. Mm -hmm. I think about the corn flavor in their chips is very, very strong. Mm -hmm. Which is not a bad thing if you're in a corn chip. But mm -hmm. I mean, like literally corn. I have to say, eating a fold over in a tortilla chip is different, is different than eating it in a potato chip. In the potato chip, I'll look for fold overs because you're getting twice the crunch in that one bite. It's harder to eat that. For a tortilla chip, I'd rather just eat a flour. Yeah. Um, that um, has some spice to it, too. A little bit. It's about the same for me. Now maybe you're... You're um, getting a little more of that jalapeno hit than I am. Yeah. It does have some jalapeno flavor. Um, but honestly, you're getting a, a really strong cheese flavor, too. Mm -hmm. The cheese is good. I, I like both of these. They're, just don't expect it to be as strong as like, as like a Dorito or something like that. I don't think the flavor is that strong. I don't think the fake cheese flavor is that strong in these. 
Then, but then again, I really do like these. Yeah, I do like them too, and they'd be good to just snack on. Mm -hmm. You could dip them if you wanted to. You could. The queso, or uh, they're coming across as hotter to me. I like it. It's it's not like a. It's nowhere near like a flaming hot, or you can't even go compare it uh, to that. The same but <laughs> I definitely think the queso are hotter than the salsa. Yeah, no, I'm not getting any heat. The, really? No. Oh well, I got one with all all that I've all that like powder. Oh well, <laughs> I definitely think the queso are hotter. They probably are, but jalapeno affects people at different times. Different yes. different jalapenos affect you different ways. But I also think the queso had more flavor. They do. They're a little stronger in that cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whereas those have more of a savory flavor, like uh, you know, the spices come through a little bit more. Right. So. They're both good though. I think they're both delicious. Yeah, I would buy either one of them. I personally would eat them as they are and not have to worry about buying an additional jar of salsa or buying an additional jar of cheese like you do with other ones because these are already flavored. Um, so I would eat these plain. Yeah, but you could do it. But if I could only, if I only had two dollars to spend, a dollar ninety-eight, and I could only buy one, I would buy the queso. Because uh, I more. like the spice. Really like the salsa. It's delicious. And one thing we never mentioned about these, especially the salsa, is the salt. Yeah. It has a nice salt content too. I really do. I think if you were trying to compare these to a Dorito, the salsa would be the one that's closer to Dorito. And it's still not really close. Uh, no, but uh, the the queso, I just really like the, that cheese I think, flavor, I cheese think I would, and jalapeno. I agree. Flavor. I think I would pick the queso as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is a great brand. These, we found these on an end cap. They were not in the chip aisle. They might have had them in the chip aisle, but we saw them on the end cap because they're new. And that's where we bought them. So I would go for either one of these. I think they're great quality. Mm -hmm. yep, yeah, they're good. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.